Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Welcome to my kitchen. It's salsa today. And I'm gonna get started. <clears throat> I will probably have to post three or four videos to cover each step of the salsa making. But I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and I'm gonna start with some cilantro in my food processor. Because I want to cook this low and slow, add my flavors, add my herbs, and where's my little plunger? Oh, there it is. Um, I'm going to start with some onion and some lime. start with some lime juice. Oh. You know what? I'm going to do this. That way, when it splatters, it goes into my bowl. Let me turn Don't we love it in our salsa? You can make this in small batches as well. Just do the math and see how much produce you've got to stick in there. Got my blue stone canner ready. That's what I'm gonna cook it in. You will need a big pot if you're gonna do a big batch. We love salsa canned because we can take it to a tailgate with tortilla chips. We can put make street tacos. We can put it on um, burritos on whatever you like it on. Okay, to this I'm gonna add some salt. A good heaping tablespoon should give us a start. The other thing I love about making salsa is as you put your ingredients together, you can taste it and see what else you need. Okay, I just saw something I need. What was it? Oh, garlic. Garlic. I'm gonna do a couple of cloves. Whoops, about lost one. And that garlic has gone bad, so I'm gonna toss that. I'm gonna peel this garlic and stick it in my food processor. Everybody has their own personal take on making salsa and um, doesn't make it the right way or the wrong way. It's what you like, your taste. I 
Okay, I'm gonna add some onion, at least two large onions, and then I may add some more later. These are yellow sweet onions. You can use whatever onion you like. You could use green onion if you like that. and I'm going to use them in my salsa. I don't normally put squash in my salsa, but just because it's kind of the last of the squash and it's been washed, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and blend it up in there too. And a zucchini. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab some apple cider vinegar. We'll move on. I do prefer to use apple cider vinegar over white distilled vinegar. Gives it a little sweeter taste. I'm gonna put about a fourth of a cup. And then I'm gonna give this a zhuzh. big pieces all got blended in. We start me a trash bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my squash. Like I said, this is not something I normally put in my salsa, but because we've got it and it's good for you, and nobody will know the difference when they eat this salsa, they're not gonna say, oh my gosh, this has squash in it, because it's gonna be pureed and cooked. And it'll take on the flavor of the salsa. It's a good way to waste, not want not. Last one. the inside of my bluestone canner so it doesn't stick and easier cleanup. And then I'm going to take this, what I've already pureed, and I'm going to pour it into my bluestone canner. If you have chunks, don't worry. Once you cook it, you can pull the chunks out if you wish or you can put them back in your processor and process them. Now to that, I took the Romas that were ripe the other day and I went ahead, let me put the lid back on this. 
I went ahead and processed those and then I, let me turn y'all around. And then I put them in the freezer because all of our aromas are not gonna be coming in at the same time. And I know that's what I wanna use for my salsa. I have some aromas on the porch that this afternoon, after they've sat in the sun for a t about a full day to ripen up, I'm gonna come back in the kitchen and I'm gonna process those aromas and then I'll put the whole salsa recipe together for y'all. So if this is something you love, you're gonna have to watch two videos. And then if you wanna learn to can it, it might be three videos, but what I'll tell you is this, it'll be worth it. And I'll recap at the beginning of each video. That way as the video travels, people will understand what I'm doing. But this is it, farm to table, table to soul. So my apron is ringing true. It says, from Andy's farm to Lisa's table. I love this. Macy, thank you so much for my new apron. Anyway, stay tuned. It'll all be on there for you to watch uh, by day's end. Have a wonderful day. I'm gonna have to watch you make the salsa from South Louisiana. Well, hey there, Diane. I bet you've got a good salsa recipe from South Louisiana. Yes, yeah, Sherry, it is delicious and it smells wonderful while you're processing it. So anyway, if that's something y'all are interested in, hey there from Baltimore, Maryland, Diane. How are you this morning? Keep watching. I'm gonna be doing some of this and then um, in the next few days, I'm gonna be doing my Aunt Lib's homemade spaghetti sauce. And I would love to share that with y'all because she shared it with me and she's gone on to glory and I just adore her. And I think of her every time I make one of her recipes. So I'll share that with you too. It's been vlogged before, so has the salsa. So if you wanna search in your search bar on cooking, cutting up, keeping it real, put in salsa, the videos will follow, they'll come up. Or cooking, cutting up, keeping it real, Aunt Lib's um, marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce, it will come up. But I will be canning all of those, the salsa and the spaghetti sauce. I don't normally freeze those, I can them. So anyway, we're gonna be whipping it up in here. So y'all stay tuned and have a great day. We'll see you later, bye. Hey everybody, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. In my kitchen today, I'm doing salsa and we are selling corn. And so it's a busy, busy time on the farm. So I apologize for having to end the last live, but the hub's called and I have to take his call, to see what he needs. I'm taking these romas. What I was gonna tell y'all is this. Some people think that like, for instance, this roma, it's getting right. And you're welcome to ripen it up by sitting it in the sun. But for this salsa, it's not necessary because it's really good to have the textures of some of the firmer, less ripe tomatoes in this recipe, especially if you're using a food processor. So don't feel like you can't go ahead and get your tomatoes processed and um, ready for your salsa. That's what I was trying to get across. Anyway, and if you have questions about how I do this or that, you can message me and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, <clears throat> and if you've got a bad spot like that right there, just cut it off. Because you don't want to waste the whole tomato. Now this one has some end rot in it, so I'm gonna cut around it and still use the good part of it. And that one is a better boy. A better boy. Here's another better boy. See, they're kind of more round. That one's dead right, so that'd be great to mix in with the rest of my salsa. And then I got another one that's got a little green on it. I'm gonna just cut that out. And I leave the skins on. I think it gives the salsa some good texture. That is totally up to you if you want to peel your tomatoes or if you want to put them in as they are. And I'll check comments here in a minute. We've been singing how great they are. 
O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hand hath made, I see the song, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. This is my daddy's favorite song. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Listen. Y'all might hear me singing Prince or Elvis or gospel music, rock and roll, you name it. Now, the other thing I'll tell you about salsa is this. If you want to leave some chunks in there, it's fine. Um, it gives it better texture. And so that's to your liking, how much you want to process your tomatoes. I like mine processed pretty heavy. Into the pot. Into the pot. I'm going to go ahead and add this other onion. the good stuff now. As I've said before, the Romas, when you cook them, they don't have as much water. So if you're making a sauce of any kind, I strongly recommend Romas. Strongly recommend Romas. And I usually use about three-fourths of Romas in my salsa, and the rest are just tomatoes that we have on the farm. Waste not, won't not. Okay, let's give them a swirl, a whirl, a twirl. Got all my aromas in.
the last one. But you can see I'm using dead ripe ones, ones that aren't quite as ripe. There's a spot. Don't want that. Don't want nothing that the worms have eaten on. There's another little bad spot where some critters had a meal. You know, those critters can't control them. check comments in just a minute. Okay, that is looking good and smelling good. I've got my pot on low because I like to cook it low and slow. give those flavors a chance to marry up. I'm waiting to complete this because they're gonna pick peppers for me to put in the salsa. So I'm kinda at a standstill right now, but I'm gonna go on and cook this up and then I can add my jalapenos as they come in off the farm. And that, this is how we do it. Let's see if anybody has questions. Good morning, Janet. Cookie is on the farm. <laughs> That's why you don't hear or see her right now. Oh, thank you, Phyllis. Love to hear you. Oh, Lisa, you are so sweet. I'm definitely not a singer, but, you know, I sing to myself and in the shower I sing to the dog. I'll probably sing to my grandchildren when I get the blessing I haven't any. So are you canon after you make? I am, Diane. Good morning, Peggy. And good morning, Cor Corliss. Okay, anyway, I'll be back with y'all. I'm gonna cook that low and slow, stirring occasionally, and I'll even cover that pot, um, and I'll start tasting uh, to see if I need to add more salt, more um, vinegar, more, um, I'll add a little sugar, not a lot but about a fourth a cup of sugar I'll put in there as well. You could use honey or you could use agave, but I do think it needs just a little bit of sugar to uh, offset the hot and the salt content in the salsa. So anyway, salsa, that's what I'm doing today over coffee. Y'all have a wonderful day. I will be doing at least one more video to show the completion of it. So, you know, if you, that's something you wanna learn to do, I can teach you. Have a wonderful day, y'all. We'll see you soon. Bye now. Hey, y'all. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. I've been out to the garden. I want to show y'all the last additions that I'm going to do to this um, salsa. I'm going to give my veggies a rinse. I got some green peppers too that I'm gonna add to my salsa. And I got four jalapenos. And I'm gonna use the jalapenos with the seeds in them. And I'm gonna put them in my food processor. So let me get the best angle for you guys to see. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna cut these off, throw them in there. Ooh, they smell hot. 
And since I had a few green peppers, I'm gonna put them in there too with the seeds. I had one zucchini squash, I'm gonna use it too. Make some pretty green in that salsa. My jars are sterilizing in the dishwasher, so they'll be ready when the sauce is ready. I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar, apple cider vinegar, about a fourth a cup. that I'm going to add in. One little bitty baby better boy. Okay, two little bitty baby better boys. That's a lot of bu 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 bees. Drew said he was gonna pick them for me. He's gonna think I was being impatient. I kinda am, because I wanna get my cooking done in the mornings when it's not so hot. Especially if I'm gonna be making salsa where I'm gonna be having my oven on, I mean my stove on. He'll get it when he has to do it himself. <coughs> he won't have to do it himself as long as they'll raise them and pick them and bring them in for me, I'll do it. I'll take over from there, and I don't mind. And I get to stay in the air condition, praise the Lord. Some critter's been in this one. I ain't using that. on a chip that the chip has a little bit of every little good bit of the garden on it let me turn y'all over here we'll give you a close-up shot of the pot Fistful. 
needing a friend to help me in the end. Brother, won't you tell me where could I go but to the Lord? Y'all can see that there's some chunks in here of tomato, and I just kind of push them over to the side and squeeze them as this cooks down. And I'm gonna cook this low and slow, covered for about two hours. And I'll come by and give it a turn, just a, just a, a stir down to the bottom of the pan um, every now and again. Anyway, that's salsa, y'all, 101. Not salsa like this, but salsa like this. Yes, that's what it means in sign language. Give me some food. Salsa. Wow, it makes a lot of salsa. Uh, Rita, this does, um, and it depends on how many tomatoes I've got as to, you know, how much I'll do at one time. I'm going to grab some chips. Hold on. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and test this to make sure I've got enough sugar, enough salt, and enough heat. Where could I go but to the Lord? Mmm. One more time. This would be a mild one as far as heat goes, but the flavor of those tomatoes and all that's in this, so stinking good. If I have a few more jalapenos by day's end, I may chop them up and add them in. Did you get my message about vinegar? Paul, I did. And I checked the percentage on my vinegar. Um, I checked it on my white vinegar. I didn't check it on my, on my apple cider. 5%. 5%. I'm gonna hot water bath mine anyway, so I'm gonna make sure they get a good seal. And the acid from the tomatoes helps with the sealing process when you're doing anything tomatoes. So anyway, thanks for the info, Paula. Y'all have a good day. Salsa. Bye now. Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Canon salsa. My can, my jars are finished. Um, they're hot and that's when you wanna use them to put your hot um, tomato mixture in. Let me just grab them out of here. My dad's here visiting. Daddy, you're gonna have to wait on a cup of coffee because I- That's all right, I'm, I'm okay. You know, once you start this process, you gotta I'm finish okay. it. I'm okay, I'm okay. Now my glasses are fogged up. But we're gonna have some good salsa. And it's not too hot, this batch. So you may even like it, Dad. I don't know. Did you come over to get tomatoes or do y'all have tomatoes? You got tomatoes. Yeah. You got tomatoes at home? Hmm? I don't know. I don't think we do. Well, have you eat them all? Yeah. We need quite a few of them. I mean, do y'all have enough to spare four Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, call her and find out. You got your phone on you? No, I'm missing the car. Well, what good is it doing you in the car? Not a bit. You can use your phone, can't you? Well, I'm on my phone. I'm live on my phone. That's why it's important for you to carry yours. Okay, what I'm going to do is count jar lids here. Small ones. I got four, five. And then I've got... Well, there's another one, six. So I need six lids for the small mouth, and I need two, four, six, eight, nine for the big mouth. 
So I'm gonna count out, count those out. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Get my exercise. I guess I better go out there and get No, don't go out there. We'll call her in a minute. Okay, so I got nine lids, and I'm gonna put them in this pan, put some water over them, and put them on high, and bring them to a bowl so that they will seal. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, I need seven little mouth. Hang on. Talking to the viewers, I'm talking to you. I'm sweating. Sweating. Sweating with the oldies. Okay. So I'm going to use six small jar lids. And then I'll check comments. Two, four, six. Daddy, I put cookie in the kennel so she don't trip you. Do you hear me? You should be used to seeing this. Did you used to watch Granny do hers? Yes, some. Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, you were I probably did. busy working, weren't you? I was busy working doing it. Granny was used to do it. I used to churn for what I used to do. When she made butter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She needed your muscles, didn't she? Yeah, yeah I had to churn for a little Okay. Now, now that I've got this over here, let's make it safe. And then... Let's bring my jars around here and make some space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jar this up, and then I'm going to hot bath it later today because it's getting hot. Is it hot outside, Daddy? Oh, yeah. Whew. I can feel it. Plus, I've had this oven going for two hours. Okay. Let's see how cool in here, but what feels cool to you? That's nothing new, is it? Okay, so what I'm gonna do. I have another really bad. Hang on a minute, we're live with about 300 people. They don't okay. need to know all your personal business. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ladle this hot salsa into my jars that are sterile. I've been listening to Elvis, Maybe. sing gospel music. This will be great for tailgates. It'll be great when we have anything Mexican. We had Mexican yesterday. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I like Mexican, yeah. I do too. This is some good salsa right here, Dad. Mm-hmm. I've already tasted it. Make sure yeah, I had enough hot and there. enough sweet in it. We've been down to eat the Mexican two or three times lately. Holy guacamole. Yeah. They have very good food and very good service, and it's actually a fair price, I it's think. A very good service. Mm -hmm. It is a fair price. I think so, too. Okay. A lot of work that these women have done over the years, Cannon and men. But I told Drew, as long as he'll pick it, grow it and pick it, bring it in, I'll do the rest. I know she got a whole lot of corn on the front. Mm-hmm. That's Vicky's. Brad and Vicky wanted some. Oh, that's Brad and Vicky's. Mm-hmm. When they gonna get it? Uh, I'm gonna meet her today on my way to my appointment. Well, you don't want to let it sit in that sun so long, do you? Well, it's not. It's sitting right there. It's in the well, air. It's sitting on the front porch. That's what other people are picking up. They just picked it this morning. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's fresh. All right, where's my other one? Brother, won't you tell me? Where could I go? Okay, you want to use hot, sterile jars. You also want to use, make sure that this is hot. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Granny Ingles' trick. And I'm going to can these. I'm going to turn them right side up. And I'm going to give them a chance to seal that way. And if they don't, 
When I get back from my appointment, I will simply put them in a water bath and boil them for about 30 minutes. And if you're canning for the first time, you need to do some tutorials on canning other than watching my video because I do a few shortcuts here and there. And I've only done those as I've gotten more comfortable doing it over the years. But it's not technically always the correct um, way of canning and preserving. So just know that. And I gotta work fast so that it'll stay hot. I'm gonna try real hard not to burn my hands. I bet hot. Granny had a few burns on her in her day, didn't she? Um, got to have some cabinet space to do this as well because you can see that there's produce and <clears throat> stuff that's already been cooked and jars and sink and all that good stuff. So you'll want to make yourself a spot or a working area. I'm going to jar this up while the lids are boiling. You want to go about a fourth of an inch from the top of the jar. This is a big pot of sauce, ain't it, Dad? Mm -hmm. I put squash and zucchini in it, too, because we have... What are you going to do, though? Oh, I'll give it as gifts, oh. and we'll take it to the tailgates, and when I'm invited somewhere and they, I need to bring something, I'll take it. I give a lot of it away for Christmas, if it lasts that Salsa, long. Salsa, uh, But Drew loves it, and Jesse loves it, so they eat Salsa, it. Salsa, now, is that what... Adam Gunn loves it, so they all get some from me because they've grown yeah, the produce. The Mexican served too, the Mexican. Oh yeah. Everybody has their own little twist on salsa. So this morning I've done lives to show the viewers how I do mine. Anyway, for you guys that watch everything on the page, just scroll back. You'll see step by step what I've done this morning. Before I got to the cannon part of it. Those lids are about ready. They'll be just in time. I'm sweating now. My glasses are fogged up and I'm sweating. No telling how many hours Granny put in in the kitchen, Daddy. Gosh, you know, I know. I know you, you're, you've not got all that whole bucket out. Almost. Is that what you call it, a bucket or It's a, bl a blue stone canner. Blue stone canner. Mm-hmm. So you put your jars down in your right? No, I put my jars through the uh, dishwasher. You know, they used to have to boil their jars they didn't have a dishwasher, you know? Now, a dishwasher now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, guys, I'm running out of room here. I hear the jars boiling, the lids, sorry, the, the lids to the jars. Nice thing about canning in these mason jars is you can keep your mason jars forever and continue to use them each season. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Oh, I feel sweat running down my back. Do you? Yes, Lord. <laughs> it's like I am every night. Love the hormones, Lord have mercy. Okay. Huh? Sweat at yeah, night. sweat at night. Okay, so the jar lids are ready. I've got a magnet that I bought at Walmart that pulls them up out of the hot water for you so that you don't burn yourself. And you're going to want to put those on and make sure you don't get any of the salsa on the rim of the jar because then it will prevent it from sealing. <laughs> Around 
here. Oh, you already got some cool jars in it, eh? Let me tilt this down. I can get distracted and see squirrels. You know, like a dog, when you take a dog out and they see squirrels and they're all over the place and they can't concentrate on what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, we're gonna screw these down tight as you can and very gently pick that jar up and turn it over. And be careful because the jars are really hot. I'm gonna leave those for about 15 minutes turned upside down and then I'm gonna turn them upright and wait to hear the pop of the jar ceiling. Ooh, they hot. The acid in the tomatoes help with the tannin process. They don't cause it to happen, but they do help it to happen. And you can read up on that as well. Let me grab a couple more lids over here. <clears throat> So first, first cannon of salsa is going to be done before I have to leave and go to my appointment, which is great. I'm going to get you some chicken salad and some pie that Macy made to take home. Just give me a minute. Actually, I need a few minutes, Dad. I'm going to have to you know, Mama. You're not in a hurry. Well, honey, I'm supposed to get that girl to eat. Well, it ain't lunch time yet. <clears throat> not for lunch, for breakfast. You're gonna eat chicken salad for breakfast? No, not really. Well, no, I'm taking the uh, uh, sausage and egg sandwiches. And a soft ham and I'm, I'm getting sausage and eggs. Have you already she, got it? No, I gotta go get it. No, I ain't got it. Oh, well, she don't mind waiting. Especially if she knows I'm canning. She knows how that is. She used to can. You can't stop in the middle. You got to keep going while everything's good and hot. Ooh, that's hot. Woo! Are you hot yes, I am. That I am. And I'm short one more lid. Okay, let me get one more screw top lid, y'all. So I've got two, four, six quarts and two, four, five pints. And that, my friends, is how I can my salsa. I'm gonna visit with my dad and get him some food ready to take home and keep tuning in. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Salsa, farm to table, table to soul. We'll see you guys. Bye now.